Hi, my name is Frank. I'm Lee. And we go to Jubilee on Clue Street. Woohoo! So, none of us cheersed at New Year's Eve thinking that we would be on day, I think this is 83, of a lockdown. None of us foresaw this pandemic. Yeah, and it's been challenging. I, I'm not going to lie, I've, I've lost some work. I usually um, travel quite a bit with work and I love that. I love getting out, being an adventurer. So being on lockdown has been a challenge, hasn't it? <laughs> yep, uh, we've had to keep our wits about us. But um, I recently uh, read a scripture in the middle of my discouragement and my frustrations that uh, encouraged my heart. And it was Isaiah 49, verse 3 and 4. And it, and it says this, He said to me, you are my servant Israel, in whom I will display my splendor. But I said, I've labored in vain, and I've spent my strength for nothing at all. Yet what is due me is in the Lord's hands, and my reward is with my God. And just looking at that, um, when Isaiah talks about uh, Israel, his servant, he's obviously talking about the nation of Israel, but... As the theologian N.T. Wright says, Israel failed in their mission. Jesus came and picked up where they failed and he fulfilled the mission. And so really the scripture is pointing to Jesus. And since we are Christians and we, when we are Christians, we are in Christ. Uh, the promises and the words about Jesus become our promises and, and words about us. And if I look at the life of Jesus, um, the sacrifices he made, leaving heaven, coming to earth, putting on a human body and being a servant, and serving us with everything you had and eventually being executed and dying on the cross. If the story ended there, then I think the words, I've labored to no purpose and I spent my strength in vain, is true. But we all know there was the resurrection. And because of the resurrection, yet what is due me is in the Lord's hands and my reward is with my God. And honestly, good luck to anyone who's trying to remove that reward from God's hands and what is due you. Um, and that just really encouraged my heart because honestly there were many times and still feel like I've labored to no purpose and I've spent my strength in vain. Um, yet because of the resurrection, because of Jesus and because we are in Christ, no matter what we do, it has value uh, way beyond what we can imagine. Um, because God is still on the throne and if you feel out of control, it's good because then you know your true position. You are not in control, God is. And that's a good thing. So... Over to you, my love. <laughs> so I thought I wanted to share um, just a personal story that's been what's been going on with me in the last few weeks. I was working a job that um, was very highly stressful, a lot of hours, a lot of intensity, trying to get a company off the ground. And at the meantime, um, the, the cash flow wasn't there, so our salaries kept getting cut back. Mm -hmm. And I was just really, really stressed out, um, resulting in me feeling like I was on the edge of burnout. Um, so we, we prayed about it and we agreed it was best for me to step back from that. What that does mean, of course, is that I'm now fun employed. <laughs> but we have other Three projects. Cheers for the unemployed. You know, no, we have other projects that we're working on. But of course, doing freelance work is a whole different um, kettle of fish. And there comes with other challenges, such as where's the next paycheck coming from. Um, mm -hmm. And um, I really know the Lord's told me to rest and recover and take time just to find my peace again and my and go through some physical healing. Um, but guess what? I have to really trust him for day to day. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, the anxiety of where I'm at now is going to overwhelm me. Um, so I started reading this little book called God and the Pandemic by N.T. Wright. It just came out and highly, we both highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. It's just a very short little book um, where N.T. Wright, a respected theologian, talks about how we should be looking at the pandemic right now as Christians. What does it mean to us? What should our reactions be? And, um, so, and uh, so I was reading this book and he was talking about, um, about some people who are saying that, that this is the end times, you know, and what does that look like? And but no, he said, we pray every day when we pray the Lord's Prayer, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. So we are always asking for God's kingdom to come. And in fact, God's kingdom is here right now. Um, and then he spoke about, in fact, learning to pray the Lord's Prayer is how we follow Jesus right now. Because that's the prayer that Jesus gave us. And every single line mm -hmm. in that prayer is us living today in this current space um, the way that Jesus and, and God has designed for it to be. Now, when I was reading it, and I thought, okay, great. I mean, I love the Lord's Prayer. Let's, let's go there. So I started examining every single line again. 
and give us this day our daily bread just really jumped out at me for where we're at mm -hmm. right now because he's not saying give us this year our annual bread or he's not <laughs> saying give us this decade our decades bread mm -hmm. give us today our daily bread some translations say give us bread for tomorrow it's still only talking about one day and that's just a ration for that particular day mm -hmm. and i think at the end of that i think it's matthew 6 at the end of that chapter um, jesus also says don't be anxious for tomorrow because tomorrow will have enough anxieties of its own and i always think he's being a little bit cheeky and, and laughing at them when he says that because he's like come on you know <laughs> come on tomorrow we'll have trouble but only worry about today ask for today's bread and so that's my challenge that i'm going to be doing every single day trust me this morning i woke up again i got anxious again and i had to remind myself ask for today's bread and trust that that's what the lord is giving for today today i have food on my table i have a roof over my head i have a cat meowing in the background i don't know if you can hear but, but we're good and, and they've got lots of food i yeah. don't know what they're meowing about and not only that frank and i have been in this position more times than we'd wish to have been yeah. and we've seen the Lord provide he is faithful every single time mm -hmm. yet what is due me is in, is in the, the Lord's, Lord's hands. hands and my reward is with my God and yeah. let me tell you something now that was sealed when Jesus was raised from the dead it was always sealed um, and God's Spirit is in us God will guide you and keep you so bless you guys bless you